Right, the picture though in the Eastern Cape is more similar than in Pumalanga where the ANC continues really to enjoy support. If we look at the leaderboard, 81% of the votes have already been captured, Mueli, and I can say without a doubt the ANC, its overall support then is at 64% and currently, and yesterday at this time, when we were talking, the ANC was at 67% in terms of its overall support. So there is a bit of a decline and the question is, where did those votes go to? I can tell you this, it seems as if smaller parties and some independent candidates did take some of those votes. Let's look at some of the rural provinces and see how the smaller parties have actually fared. If we look at Winnie Matigizela Mandela municipality, that's in the Bizana area, the ANC stronghold, of course, there is at 73%. It's followed by the EFF at 9.8%. ATM is at 5.9%. Um, There's an interesting story about ATM um, because the ATM, if this is their first local government election, and they've also done well in municipalities like Port St. John's and Nyandene. I do want to bring in one of their representatives here at the Rizal Center in East London, Nedojeku. Thank you so much for your time. I'm curious to sort of like hear what you're thinking about your performance thus far in these elections while we're watching the numbers come in. Greetings, uh, Malungelo, and thank you very much for the opportunity given. Um, actually, our, pro our progress thus far is very impressive. We, we are quite excited and happy about what we've received so far. Even if you look on the scoreboards there on national re uh, reflections, we have moved from uh, falling in a group of others. We are now at 0.65%, uh, which is an impressive uh, outcome so far. If you trim down to the province, I mean, we've got uh, around seven seats that have been already allo sure. allocated in different municipalities, mm -hmm. and we are still waiting for more, as we just captured 80%. So we, we st we're very happy with what. What is it that you, you did which seemingly worked for you? Look, one, one of the uh, core reasons uh, that people must remember about our party is that we are faith-based. So meaning that we are accommodative to a, such a large group of people that which before they were left out. For example, your, 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 your traditional uh, people, your churches, Messianic Council of or churches is, in, mm -hmm. is involved as well, meaning a massive of churches are part of uh, our group. Traditional leaders are part of our group as well. In the rural areas, we go deeply there, and then we, 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 we're conversing on that particular space. Yeah. So we've got all those people on board. So that's why we managed to capture so much. Vote. What were you saying to the people? I'm curious to hear what is it that you were saying to the people? Part of our manifesto, uh, Malungelo, is to ensure that the local development uh, in economy sure. is actually uh, escalated because at the present moment you find that uh, local uh, is in inclusive is only focusing on the urban areas. Yeah. But when you go to rural areas and township, that's where the, 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 the gap is. Sure. So we focus mainly on that and promised, in, in fact, uh, confirmed to, to the localities there that yeah. we are going to make sure that they are sorted out and we support them and we groom them in terms of running their own businesses that side. Quickly, do you think you will be a, a main opposition in some of the municipalities that you seemingly doing well in? Most definitely, yeah. most definitely we will. Uh, for example, if you go to Port St. John's yeah. already, where we have started to, to show signs of uh, replacing, which was the main there, uh, ACDP, we've taken that spot as well. So it's definitely going to, to roll in that, uh, that advantage. All right, thank you so much for your time. That's Naito Jago from the African Transformation Movement. It's the first time Stephen Hrotus, they are contesting the municipal elections and they are having a showing in some of the rural municipalities here in the Eastern Cape. It's back to you in Twani. Well, Malangelo Boy, thanks very much indeed.